I'm back and I'm gonna attempt. I'm gonna. Uh, well, this is not a good start. I'm back and I'm gonna attempt to be smarter than a fifth grader once again. And I have something different this time a face cam so you guys can see how dumb I look when I'm dumb. Where's my lazy egg? There's lazy egg. Great. Dude, with how bright my face looks right now, I sort of look like an egg. I'm just not quite round enough. I'm Teddy. But maybe if I was bald. Teddy, Let's I gotta be honest, man. I don't care. Bring Gloria out. Like, on God. Skip explanation. Yeah. How many things do I have to skip? Um. Is it life science? Math. Math. We gotta start off on my weak note. How embarrassing if I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. I thought it was gonna be tougher, but. No. Two. Yeah, that one. I thought it was like seven and the first year, then five after, in. or something like that. Yay. I don't remember. Two. Yeah, Good obviously. Job. Measurements. Yeah. Just don't tell me anything Let's in centimeters. If Pablo begins school on September 15th and finishes school on June 15th with no time off, September, how many did he go to school? October, November, December, February, nine. Lazy egg. What's I'm trying to answer? click it. Nine months, baby. Your answer is in. <sighs> Why are you gasping? Is nine months. Nine months. Obviously. Hey. Let's go. Claudia is here. Hey. Hi, I'm Claudia. You're up. We'll leave our old she said hi. I thought now. she was more formal and, and said hey. Or one. less formal, I guess. Yeah. Which was uh, probably hi is more formal. Action. Unless you're hi while in a formal meeting, which in that case, probably Lazy not very formal. Reading. Ooh. Vocabulary. Mm. Social studies. Hmm. I'll try life science. Acorns are the nuts of which of these trees? Oh, I don't know. Acorn tree? Elms, sycamores. I don't think oaks. it's sycamore. Like I'm pretty I'm pretty confident it's not sycamore. Which could either mean that it's definitely not sycamore or it is sycamore. Yeah, I'm gonna go with oaks because in grounded there's a whole bunch of acorns around the oak tree. Woo! So, so that's how I'm big braiding this. Is... It better be fucking oaks, Claudia. Oaks. Let's do yeah. measurements. I'm fine measurements. at measurements. Do it for the gram in this measurements question. Shut up. If Jada hikes for 10 kilometers, how far is that in meters? A hundred? A thousand? Isn't it 10,000 meters? There's no way it's a hundred thousand meters. Am I thinking about this completely wrong? 10, okay, no, nah, cool. I was cool. They just gave such a big range. I, I, I did it. Don't tell me I'm swapping hosts now. Please don't tell me I'm swapping hosts. It's time to check the points. Okay, well, Good. I don't care about points. All I care about is not swapping hosts. But that's enough from me. No! I think spelling is going to be my best bet, but even we then, it's like hardly a good bet. Won't spell any trouble. Oh, it might. Unless it's telling me how to spell yellow. Does the letter letter M appear in the following word, which means to have left something out. Uh-oh. Omitted. Isn't it just two? One. Omitted. Omitted. Which is the right answer? Omitted. I know it's not three. I'll just pick two. Like, am I thinking of it correctly? E M M I T E D. Omitted. Am I? Is that even the one? Oh, I guess that wasn't. Just spamming enter. Be sure I don't have to hear a yeah. single fucking ounce of the kids speak. Which of these is another way of saying curious George? Inquisitive George. Happy George. What? Drowsy George. No. Inquisitive George. Oh my god, dude. I already know this one. I said it out loud. Inquisitive George. Too yeah. easy. It, I mean, I was thinking points. that, but yeah. Definitely too easy. Reading social, social studies. studies. You know what? Let's try vocab again. That was kind of easy. If I just have to get like words that are similar to other words, I know that. If Jen was dismayed at missing the field trip, what word would also express how she's feeling? All right, give me some words. Let's see. Dismayed. Appointed. I don't know exactly. No, I wouldn't say appointed. Okay, well that disappointed. That one is more like it. Wait, Here's I used my answer. keyboard and it went so quick. Yay. I think I might have well, pressed two. The two. Actual answer is. Wait, don't say that. Now I'm even more sure, unsure. Disappointed. Did You're I hit that? Right. Okay, good. The way he said, well, the real answer is, I'm like, okay, is he like but subtly letting me know me. that I actually did it's push the wrong turn, button? What are you saying? I don't. I speak English, Lady. bitch. Some mushrooms are poisonous. Oh, this is the trick question. It's like, oh, they're not actually poisonous. They're toxic. I'm just gonna pick true. Well, I feel like it wouldn't pull that is... though. True. Okay, yeah. So, Ava, thank you for. The show's about me, Claudia. Shows. Stop asking about the fifth graders. There they're getting is... paid to be. Social studies. Did the fifth graders Math. get paid to be on that show? We'll do measurements because I did so well on these last time. Isn't it 1.3 ta teas tablespoons? Eight teaspoons. Eight. I hope you're ready for a pop quiz. It's 
It's not a fucking pop quiz. I queued up for it, you stupid bitch. Pop quizzes are for fucking surprises, dude. Not not things that I intentionally walk into. I don't walk into taking a quiz. It's like, hey, a pop quiz time. No, that's just a quiz. The sum of the digits in the number 768 is equal to 22. Huh? Oh, like 7 plus 6 plus 8? Uh, well, let's think about it logically. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's false. What letter in the alphabet typically represents the X, 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 X. Good work. Yeah, I hate to say it, but points. that was incredibly easy. Let's try vocab. It's on the tip of our tongue with this vocabulary question. I'll give you something on the tip of your A well-known expression for someone's patience running out is the last straw. I mean, depending on the context, sure. But it also could be when the straws are running out. And it's like, yeah, this is the last straw. But I'll go ahead and pick true. Nice work. What a shocker. Measurements. Measurements is... I, I think, it's about I think I've done pretty well on measurements. I think. 135 seconds is equivalent to two. how many minutes? Like, do they, is it going to be like an two answer. point something? Oh, fuck. Would it be two and one fourth? And the correct answer is two, two and, and a one four. Minutes. Okay. I didn't know if you were going to say the decimal or not. Yeah, whatever. You got it. 50 points. Claudia, you're going to be there for when I graduate Let's fifth grade, and I'm so excited for it. I think I fail at spelling and reading the most. So with that being said, I'm going to go life sciences. Oh, this is easy. Peppers. Which edible fruit? Are peppers fruits? Definitely chili peppers. Lazy egg. Pick the correct one. Oh, the cor oh I was going to pick the correct or incorrect answers. I guess I'll pick the right one, though. I thought it was like an eliminate the wrong one type of thing, but yeah, I picked the right chili one. Chili peppers. World geography and animal sciences. Awesome. Lazy. Hey, <gasps> pick a subject you're worried I thought she was going to speak again and I just picked on something on accident. I thought there was going to be another thing what that is she the talked. the name of Wendy, John, and Michael in J.M. Barry's Peter Pan? Like, I want to say Darling just because, like, Wendy Darling sounds, like, sort of clever. But does John Darling sound as clever? Or, like, Michael Darling? Michael Treasure? John Deary? Michael Deary? Wendy Deary? I feel like dar I'm gonna- I have to cheat. I didn't even mean to pick this answer. I'll just get a new question. Wait, is that gonna be a new question in reading? In. You'll get a new question of the same category. Fuck. In the mid-1700s, who published a yearly periodical known as the Poor Richard's Almanac under the pseudonym Richard Saunders? John Hancock? Benjamin Franklin? Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I have my textbook right here. I could look up the. No. None of these are short for Richard, right? Richard usually gets shortened to Dick. Dick. Alexander Hamilton is probably Dick. Wait, Dick. John Hancock. It has to be. Benjamin. Fuck! The longest part about this game is having to go through every single introduction ever in the whole question. in the city. Social studies on purpose this time. This landmarks, landmarks. Never mind. I lost. What national monument in New York Harbor stands 151 feet tall? I mean, there's only Empire one. Empire State Building. Not quite that one. Statue of Liberty. That's the one. I'll even tell you where that thing behind well, that Haley is. The answer is uh, Mount Rushmore's in. Statue of Liberty. I think it's in one of the Dakotas. I don't know. Maybe I won't tell you that. I mean, we just did social studies and kind of absolutely crushed it. So I'm down to do social studies again. Time I'm to be go honest. cross country for this state's question. Fuck! Don't have me pick a state from a what fucking US map. What state's nickname is the Empire State? Texas. No. California. Is it New York? New York. Is that the state's nickname? I thought it was the Big Apple. There's no way it's Texas, though. New York. Okay, good. Too easy. As long as it's not Texas, that's all I care about. But it's time we swap hosts. Damn it! I was enjoying our time so much together, Claudia. I'll miss you. Hey. Shut up, Teddy. Dude, what if we hit up social studies for the three P, dude? I'm just thinking about it. It could go off. By definition, people who are Belgian come from where? Waffles. Good work. You know what? Measuring. Social studies for the four P. Let's get it. Cleveland was important for immigrants oh, seeking okay, that's opportunities. Easy. I just gotta know where Cleveland, where Ohio is. is. Located? Longitude and latitude of X. Lazy egg. It's your turn to answer. No shit. It's always my turn. You're really gonna make me pick it on a map? As if I know where the fuck. Like, if I zoom in, can I get? No, it doesn't show me names. 
I can help with this question. I don't give a- Wait, Cleveland is in Ohio, right? Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada. Wait, no, is that Nevada? This has to be- <coughs> I just choked on nothing. This is Nebraska. This is Kansas. This is Oklahoma. I think this is our Kansas. I'm pretty confident that one's Ohio. Wait, I don't think this is Ohio. Plus, if it's the Civil War, it's probably closer to over here, right? Maybe it's one of the- No, I think this is North and South Dakota. This is Illinois. Is Alabama- is Alabama a place? Cleveland was important Please for immigrants. Do. I'm gonna go from the Civil War to World War II. Shut up! I'm just picking Cleveland this one because I have no idea what this might even be, and that's perfect for Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Did I get it? Oh, I got it right. Wow. Now I know where Ohio's at. Barely. What was next Peace to out. Wisconsin? Or was I even thinking Whoa. Wisconsin now? It was like Michigan. Ah. I think it went Wisconsin. Let's what was next to it? Oh, I'm gonna look up ah. Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota. Okay. Well, I got it right. Anyways, now I know other states and I have a map up. The superlative form of the word cold. What the fuck did you just say? The superlative? The superlative? Lazy. Is hey, cold days? It's your turn to answer. The super late. I don't even know what that means, dude. Like, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to say true Here's because I don't answer. know. Yay! Otherwise. So the answer is true. Great <sighs> work. You get I always reading. fuck up the spelling, Math. dude. Like Let's try it. How many times does the letter O appear in the following word, which refers Sophomore. to in their second Two. year of high school? Sophomore. Wait, three. I almost forgot about the O and more. Unless more yeah. is like well, the name more the where it's like two O's. But I'm pretty sure it's not. Three. Ah. Well done. But it's time we swap hosts. Damn it, Claudia. I'll miss you. Yeah, I'm Halima. And, and I don't like Teddy. You heard her say it. Like, Lazy I don't. She lit Let's try life sciences. Plants have a cell wall made from allulose. Allulose. I thought it started with a C. Why do I feel like I've never heard that in my life? All right, this bitch Giannis, she knows the answer wolf. easy. I'll just copy off of her. And the answer That way, if it. I'm wrong, Yay! it's her fault. False. Okay. Nice work. Social it's studies true. again, baby, we are running it. Wait, please don't make me pick off a map though. I just remembered that I hated the last one. Nelson Mandela was a prisoner on Robben Island located off the coast of which city? Bitch, how the fuck am I supposed to know? Off of Robben Island? Hold on. What was the uh, repeat Before question? becoming president of South Africa, oh, it is Nelson South Africa. Mandela was oh. a prisoner on Robben Island, located off the coast of which city? Uh. We'll say the question again. I literally just Before had you say the question. I don't need to say. I know like a couple, I guess, like African areas, but I could not pick them out on a map. New oh, question. Right. Like I don't know. The first successful slave revolt led by Tucson Louverture formed which country? At least it should be multiple choice. Lazy egg. Choose an answer. Led by Tucson Louverture, formed which country? I mean, that sounds like France. Because that name is very French. Let's read the question And I want to say there's some... The first successful okay, slave dude, revolt Jesus. led by... <laughs> We're not keeping time, so take it easy. Can I even pick these? Okay, does it doesn't seem like I can even pick... Okay, so it's probably... Oh, fuck. I mean, he probably didn't find America. You know what? I'll be damned if I'm failing this one. Toussaint Louverture. Okay. Oh, he was Haitian. He fought against the French. I was kind of right. For the cause of Haitian independence. So it seems like he felt he formed Haiti? But he was born on Haiti. Okay, well, just let's say Let hypothetically. You don't have to worry about the it. first successful slave revolt led by Toussaint Boom. Louverture. Haiti. Which country? I definitely Haiti. did cheat. Is that what I picked? That is what I picked. I knew that's what I picked. It's Cape Town. Oh no, I was wrong. Oh wait, no. Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh, that's where the Nelson Mandela one was. They never said I couldn't use my phone. Plus, I hate Teddy and I just wanted Claudia back. Vocab. Wait, he's not good at vocab. Never mind. True or false? Something that seems specious appears true yet is false bro this is so confusing this seems specious appears true yet is false true or false something that seems specious i'm just gonna go with true like i have no idea i guess you i could have cheated now. but even eli said Yay. it's a tough one so i have no the idea actual answer is if it's if it's false true. then 
I was gonna say, if it's false, then this shit's specious as hell, bro. Measurements. Reading. Get your rulers out for the measurements. It's over there. If I need it, I'll go get it. An anemometer measures the speed of what? Ants. Rainfall. Tidal surge. Wind. No, that's barometer. Anemom. Anemom. Anemometer. I just don't know what measures rainfall. Because I thought to measure rainfall, you just always had a tube with marks on it. And it just it showed. But it measures the speed of it. I'm just going to go with tidal search. It just doesn't seem like it would be rainfall. Is like, what is, what is it? Yeah. Why does the speed so, of rainfall the matter? The answer is... Please just be tidal surge. Wind. What? Uh, barometers were the things that like had the little cups and they just spun around in the wind. Fuck! Life sciences. And it's a raisin is the dehydrated version of what fruit? Watermelon. Strawberry. Nah. Watermelon. What? Will you actually put Wait. it up there? <laughs> Why the fuck is watermelon up? If you could, like make Your it confusing, but like what? grape. Blueberry. Yay! Great. God, dude, I was so close to be question. smarter than a fifth grader. What did I fail on again? Oh yeah. How many fucking... times does the letter E appear in the following word? In the an an giraffe. anemometer. Giraffe. G I R A. Like I'm pretty sure giraffe ends in an E. One. Good work. You get one. I was really. I mean, honestly, I, I was becoming more unsure of myself as it, as she went on. Claudia, look, listen to me once again, as always. I've known I said this so many different times Hi. before, but if it could I'm only Teddy. and always be we you, then I would be much happier. Because Teddy yeah. just. Pisses me off. Yes. Hi. What is he doing My right there? Bowing again. Yes. Run it. If you put away your toys in alphabetical order, which should you pick up first? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S, -R -S T. Puzzle. 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 Social Math. studies did me good social last studies. time, so I'll pick social studies again because I don't think I had to pick shit off the map until like third or fourth grade. Question. So hopefully Which I don't have to pick up the map now. The why does it feel? Why does it feel like this is gonna make me pick off the map? Don't make me pick off a map. Don't make me pick off a map. Don't. No. China. Which one's China? Is this one China? Is it even the second most spoken language? I mean, I feel like I'm, I just. I'm just going for it. Spain. Uh, that does make sense. What Annoying. is the plural form of the word tooth? Teeth this is, dude. Good Yay. job. Life sciences. Let's see what you can grow in this plant's question. Weed. Which of the following is a plant that eats insects? Venus flytrap. Cactus. I don't think so. Poison ivy. I don't think so. Sundew. I feel like I have to pick the one that I've never really heard of. And it's now I'm going to look up what a sundew in. is. Yeah. The correct answer is... Unless I'm wrong. Sundew. Let's what? go! What the hell is a sundew? Oh, points. these things. Okay, yeah, I've seen these. Isaac, thank you for Grammar vocab. Good to know. Lazy egg. Pick cool, we don't have any of those. Subject. We'll pick measurements. If a new notebook costs $3.89... And Rachel pays pay for, for this shit it only using using only dimes? dimes. How many dimes did she use? Thirty-nine, bitch. <laughs> right? You got this. Cynthia, you're one of my thirty-nine dimes. Points. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no. The way you look at me. No. It's time to look at the point. No, that is not what I meant. You're gonna bring Teddy back, aren't but you? <laughs> First of all, I didn't even learn foreign language. I didn't have the option to learn foreign language until maybe middle school, but most likely high school. So I don't know what the fuck going on in this fifth grade, motherfucker, but these bitches is crazy. Although she's British, so she, she already pretty much speaks a foreign language. True or false, a down-to-earth person means that someone is sensible. Yeah. Too easy. I can't wait for Claudia to come back because then that means I'm on fourth so, grade. Haley, thank you. Spelling and reading, big. Lazy egg, let's see what subjects we have. I got you, Haley. I might cheat off of you here. Two different vowels appear in the following word. Indict. Indict. Dude, I don't know how to spell indict. Indict. Isn't that the word that's spelled like... It doesn't even... It doesn't look like it's spelled like indict. It's like I-N-D-I-C-T-E. A-E-I-O-U. Is that what my vowels are? Should I just cheat off Haley? Hold on, I'm working through this. Indict. I-N-D... How did I say it was spelled? I-N-D-I-C-T. I-N-D-I-C-T-E. I don't think it has an E. Indict, I think it's spelled like indict. False. That means you get 200 points.
That's a weird word. We have an appetite for a life science question. That was not even funny. Like you're normally somewhat clever, the but that was just pathetic. The beneficial situation between a clownfish and symbiotic an is an example of what? Symbiotic symbiosis. A symbiotic relationship, mutually assured destruction. <laughs> a biological bargain. I mean, three Maybe also sounds kind of accurate, Jesus but it's for answer. sure a symbiotic relationship, right? Because there's symbiosis in... A symbiotic relationship. Okay, good, good. I'm Halima, and I'm very good with health and life science facts. Okay, health and life science. That's perfect. I'll pick measurements. 400,000 ounces is equivalent to how many U.S. tons? Bro, I don't even know how many ounces are in a pound. Because how many ounces are in a pound? Is it 28? 32? Then if it even was 16, that conversion is insane. Okay, but 16.9 fluid ounces is 1.05 pints. So it's probably six, and a pint is equal to a pound. I made that up. But then how do I change 400,000 to 16 and then to 2,000? Calculator. 25,000 pounds, which would be 12 and a half tons. 12.5 tons. <clears throat> all I had to do was cheat to do math. That's it. These are all awful. What the fuck is that smirk, Kai? I'm gonna pick social studies. I'm cheating off your ass, all right? Okay, is it actually about government or are you gonna make me pick off a map between every single- Appointed by the president is the chief law enforcement officer of the US federal government. I don't remember the branches of Secretary fucking government, of State. dude. But I'm gonna cheat. And I'm gonna copy Kai. If Kai's oh. wrong, I'm wrong. What is your answer? Say Chief Justice. The second answer. Attorney General. Oh, it's locked in. Uh, is that was... Attorney General? Oh, he was right. Let's hear the fun facts. The Appalachian Mountains are getting shorter while the Himalayas get taller. Okay, oh, why? Very good fact. Why? No, tell me but why. No, I'm curious. Why? This will be my last one, An mostly because my camera's running out of space. Described as An epitome. Example. Is this, is what type of example? Terrible. It's most accurate describes is what type of example? Lazy egg. Choose Perfect your answer. One. It's the epitome of how to do something. Or as I used to call it, epitome. Perfect. Good Yay! job. You get 300 Let's go. It's your turn, Claudia. What? Didn't I just beat fifth grade? Oh, That's I probably it. gotta answer it. And it's sixth grade. I hope you get this one right. There's only one question. We will say goodbye to your classmate now because it's all no! you. Oh God! I you, hate you all of these. I think I gotta go spelling. It's the only one that's like they don't I'll just give you some you fuck shit on. It's the final question. You can do it. Let's see if you really are. Uh, what uh, are the final three letters in the spelling of the following word? Plaintiff. Plaintiff. T I F. I F F. Ooh. I F E. Fuck, does plaintiff have Lazy two Fs? A oh, I gotta write it down so I know what feels real. Plaintiff. Damn, does it have two Fs? I was so confident on T I F until she dropped me with the I F F. Dude, the I F F might be right. Like, just looking at how, like, plaintiff and plaintiff spelled out, we just said the same thing twice. Like, plaintiff with two Fs looks more accurate. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it's just like. Well, the right answer is. Please be number one. I F F. Let's go! I truly thought it was T I F when I first got that one. Those are good claps. About damn time, dude. You did a great job. Thank you. I almost, I, I'll be honest, points in your permanent I almost would have gotten that sixth grade question wrong. Like how spelling questions are like, spell plaintiff, or like, how do you spell this? And then fucking social studies are like, in the 1700s, there was an unknown explorer who went onto this island and discovered it for the first time, and while he was there, he did what? It took me a while. I almost ran out of space on my fucking, on my camera, but you know, I am far too smart. <laughs> Uh, if you guys, if there's any other like fun game show games to try out, definitely let me know because I'm into trying those out. But yeah, for now, thank you guys for watching. I'm finally smarter than a fifth grader. That silly fucking diploma I have, that doesn't tell me anything. It's this game. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.